hey you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back and if you're new to my channel welcome to he lives me channel my name is deborah definitely comment down below subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and welcome to the family say welcome to the family welcome. so by the title you guys already know what this video is about to be about so without further ado let's just get straight into the video so y'all first off i just want to let y'all know i have gum in my mouth and i didn't feel like spitting it out so for those who are going to be all up in my mouth, don't ask questions. So, I know people have been leaving churches for God knows how long, you know. But, um, during this pandemic, I feel like a lot of people have left their church. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, whoa, what's going on? So, this topic was very important for me to speak on because I think a lot of people are doing things that they have no understanding of what they're doing. Or, a lot of people are making decisions out of emotion and stepping outside the will of God. I want to speak to those who feel like leaving their church or those who have left their church. Now, one of the reasons I've heard many people leave their church is because they feel like they're not growing spiritually. Which I understand. I understand you could be at a church and like, you feel like they're worshiping but you don't feel like worshiping or they're praying but you don't feel like praying they're reading their bible but you don't feel like reading your bible right and i understand where that confusion of you know what is my church which is i'm i'm like this because my church is not helping me grow but there was a but be careful with that because it's so easy it's so easy for us to point fingers to the church now i'm not saying that the church don't play its part like trust me i know you have to ask yourself do you have a relationship at home with god the church can do its part but if you're not doing your part as a christian as a believer you're of course you're gonna feel like when you go to church you're not gonna feel like reading your bible you're not gonna feel like worshiping because of the fact that you don't have a relationship with god you can't expect the church to do something that you're not doing yourself it's the same thing at school. School can give you the information, help you to understand the information, but it's your duty, it's your job to go home and do your homework. It's your duty, it's your job to go home and study. So if you're not studying the word of God at home, um, spending time with God, it's going to be hard for you to feel comfortable to worship God in the church. To piggyback off of what I just said, it's so easy to point fingers and not even help your church. If you see this, there's something off, there's something wrong, why are you not putting your hand in the pot and getting your hands dirty and, and healthy? If you're only pointing out the wrong and not bringing solutions, you're part of the problem. Transparent moment. I remember there was a time, there was a season where I wanted to leave my church. Yes, I wanted to leave my church because like most people, I didn't feel like I was growing spiritually. What are you doing to help your church? Do you just go to your church, sit down, attend, go home and that's it? Or are you helping? Are you joining a ministry? Are you speaking to their leader? Are you giving ideas? What are you doing? I see so many people. I see so many people that are so quick to leave their church. And I'm like, if only you understand the danger, the danger of leaving or doing something outside of God's will. It's so dangerous, so dangerous. There are certain things that I see in people that when they were in their church, they were t completely different. But when they left their church and ventured off to another church that they think is better, they transform 360 and not in a good way. It's very dangerous to do something outside of God's will because you know why it's dangerous? Because when you when you leave somewhere that God did not tell you to leave, now you're telling God, I got it. Lord, I know what's best for me. And God is like, no. You see where you are in that church, the church that you want to leave? That's where I want to mold you. That's where I want to prepare you. That's where I want to build you up. Thing is, we stop God from doing that because we allow our emotion to guide us. And we have to understand, if the enemy can't stop you, stop what you're doing, what the enemy will try to do is push you. Push you to do things outside of God's will. We have to understand that our leaders are not perfect. Yes, they should live a blameless life. Life. yes but they're human we need to pray for them because if we truly understood the the amount of attacks that leaders get we would have a different respect for them no church is perfect and this is something if you're new to my channel if you're new to me um one thing i always preach is that i'm not perfect i'm not a perfect christian 
I've messed up. If you are, if you think you're gonna find a perfect church on earth, you're, you're, you're never gonna go to church. Cause there's no church that's perfect. There's no church that's perfect. It might look good, but when you actually dive in, when you actually sit there, you're like, dang, this, there's a whole lot of drama. The thing is you have to fix your eyes on God. You have to pray. When you walk outside of the will of God, you give the enemy room to enter in. Because now when God is not leading you, who's guiding you? The enemy. You know, there's some there's some people that's probably like, well, Deborah, like, what do I do? I feel like I'm not growing in the church. I feel like it's not my place. What do I do? First thing you do, ask yourself, well, do I have my own personal relationship with God at home? Am I feeding my spirit? Am I feeding my spirit while I'm at home? Are you bringing solutions to your leader? And the last thing I will tell you to do next, pray about it. Say, God, you're not a God of confusion. God, if this is my place, if this is where you want me to stay, Lord, convict my heart. Change my mindset. Change the direction that I want to take. Help me to not do it out of emotion. But I pray that, God, it is you that's leading. It's so easy to leave than to actually stay there and fix what needs to be fixed with the help of God. I don't know about you guys, but this pandemic definitely was a wake-up call for the church. The Bible says it. There will be many that will leave the faith. I feel like this pandemic has definitely shook a lot of churches. There are churches that I know that are closing, but nobody's coming. There are churches that I know that only have probably like 10 people left. This is the prophecy. This is what the word of God says. In the later times, when the end of time is coming, many will leave the faith. Many will abandon the faith. Be careful because the enemy wants you to give up. The enemy wants you to leave. The enemy wants you to do things that is not what God wanted you to do. Do not allow your emotion, do not allow pride to cause you to leave somewhere that God never told you to. Those who have left the, their church, I will tell you, if you feel convicted by this video, if you feel touched, pray on it. And I ask you to really listen to the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit guides you to return back to your church, do not hesitate. Because you might not see the danger of you leaving your church now, but you might see it later on. Or your children might have to go through it. Your children might have to suffer the wrath of God because you stepped out of the will of God. I'm telling you guys, it's, it's, it's dangerous. Not only just to leave the church, but to do something that's not, uh, that's not God's will for you. Moving out of the country, moving somewhere, you gotta make sure that it's what God wants. Everything that you do, always, everything that you do, always say, Lord, let your will be done. Like I was reading the other day in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, Jesus was healing people and things like that. There was a man who had leprosy. Leprosy is various skin diseases. Who had leprosy, people don't want to be around you. They're scared of you. They, they don't want to catch anything. They're fearful of you. And this man saw Jesus knelt in front of him and he said, Lord, if it's your will, you can make me clean. Mind you, if it was me or if it was you, we probably, and we knew that there was somebody that could take that pain away from us, not only the disease, but the pain of people not wanting to be around you, we would beg, please help me, please heal me. But this man said, Lord, let your will be done. Lord, if you are willing, if you want to, you can clean me. I pray that we have this same faith. We have the same dependency. We have the same trust in God. That Lord, if you want me to leave my church, you will guide me to. But even if I'm being mistreated, even if people are, are spreading rumors about me, yeah, I will stay if this is where you want me to stay. If this is your will, Lord, this is where I will be. We have to have that same faith. Being a Christian is hard, but it's rewarding when we actually follow jesus christ follow god our savior it's a problem when you go to church to church to church to church you have to ask yourself lord where did i go wrong hmm maybe because the first place where you were god didn't tell you to leave god why am i suffering why why is my marriage not succeeding why is why is my kids not listening to me maybe because where god told you to stay where god place you to be where God wanted to mold you and prepare you for what he has in store for you you went outside of it you took matters into your own hands you don't even know what's gonna happen to you in the next second 
God knows each and every minor detail of your life. But yet we are so okay with making decisions without God. You could lead yourself into your own destruction by walking outside of God's will. And overall, I just want you guys to know that this is coming from a sister who loves you and don't want you to suffer in the hands of the enemy or in the hands of God. Man, do you wrong, God can save you. But if God's wrath fall upon you, who can save you from his wrath? So I don't want anyone to endure that. So you guys, I hope you guys like this video. Really appreciate you if you guys, you know, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment. Um, definitely follow me over on Instagram. If you don't guys don't see me posting on YouTube, I'm definitely posting on Instagram. So definitely follow me at Deborah underscore Faith. I thank you guys for watching this video, but most importantly, I thank God for allowing you guys to watch this video because today was not promised, but it was all given by God. And I hope you guys have a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good night. Whenever time you're watching this video, I have a blessed they may God bless you. And until next time, peace.